Wait a second, didn't you say donation pre flop? Yeah. You have a pair of nines. That's better than I've that's the biggest pair I would have had all day. Exactly. Donation makes it doesn't make me think of pocket nines. Like yeah, that, that sort of misdirection. I know you're going to level oh. two. Yeah. Yeah. That is pretty magical. That the T V trays somehow have electricity without having a cord. And there's a USB plug in them. How do they do it? Those poker night in America guys. It's our patented invention. Right? <laughs> Elon Musk was asking the same thing last <laughs> week. Nope, not telling. We're sitting on a gold mine, yet we're here you never know. streaming poker. <laughs> we're just waiting for the right time. Uh, this is a labor point. of love. This is to pass the time before we take over the world. Before we take over the world. What do we do every day, Tony? Try to take over the world. And Jen Tilly's going to try to take over some of the chips that she lost in that last hand. It's going to be a queen, queen, six, rainbow flop. Tilly with two nines. Mercier with a pair of sixes. So he's not probably going anywhere to just one bet, especially against Jen Tilly. This was a three bet pot pre flop. And this is. Mercy are trying to do some really, really cruel stuff to Gentilly. King of Hearts changes nothing. It could slow Gentilly, though. She's going to check the turn. And after... Check. It was six. Ah, I beat you. Yeah, I was going to say, Gentilly wasn't, wasn't able to bet that river. Two queens, a king, and an ace out there. Definitely in Mercier's okay. three-bet calling six. range. I'm working on felting Jason, because I want that bounty. Straddle. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a quick break, but before we do, I'd like to tell you all about how you can enter win the free roll of a lifetime, an all-expense paid trip to come to L.A. and play here at this table with me on national television. Just download the free Poker Night in America app and register today. Next week, I'll be announcing the first round of winners on air, and you don't want to miss your chance. Best of all, the sweepstakes is totally free to enter, but this TV show isn't. So we'll be right back after these words from our sponsors. Just one direction. <laughs> Top shelf liquor going to be on him <laughs> August 11th. Uh, okay. But it's free. No, all right. Paying. I'm going to go, I'm going to I'm gonna play carefully. I'm his, his 40th birthday and with party. He's inviting oh. me, but only if I pay. I oh, he's that. indirectly inviting you if you pay? Yeah. That's nice. Very nice. That's really <laughs> nice invite. Well, I mean, we're close friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you pay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, feel, I thought it was really reasonable. The bar was only going to be open for like a couple of hours. Ite is going to call 300 on the button and this pot, could, this pot could see some bets get put in. Mercer has an overpair to the board with his nines. Tilly is going to bet what looks to be 600. Now Ite in position with a six of puppy paws on an eight high two puppy paw flop is definitely not going anywhere. And that is a vicious call from Esther Taylor. Mercier comes along as well with the nines. Two of spades pairs the board. We've Gentilly with the 0% next to her hand. That means the only way she can win is if she bluffs her two opponents out of the pot. And I'd imagine that's going to be hard as Jason Mercier is reaching for chips. And Mercer's bet is going to be 1700 Tilly's going to get out of the way. And with a paired board, Esther Taylor now contemplating 
what to do with her nut flush draw. And it seems that time and time again, Jason Mercier has gotten into these spots and... Just taking the pot down right then and there is what I was going to say, but... Ite isn't going away quietly. She's raised the turn to 4,000. But again, with an overpair to the board... Jason Mercier now faces 2300 to call, and he will do so. So we're heads up to the river. This is the first time these two primarily mixed game specialists have battled one another, and the three of spades is going to complete the board. That misses Esther Taylor's flush draw. She's now just playing ace high, but after the raise on the turn, Mercier has to be slightly concerned. And he's going to check, and Esther Taylor is going to move all in for 14000 It's an overbet of the pot. This is one of those bets where there's really no in-between. Esther Taylor is never doing this with an 8. She's never doing this with a, just one 7 or an 8. You either have it or you don't, and this time she doesn't. And Jason Mercier gives that look that we've seen a few times today. But every time he's done that, he's thought through these hands, he's made the correct decision. Can he again for a nearly $25,000 pot? The all-in is for 14 one two five. As we said, an overbet of the pot. There's just over 10000 in there before the bet. And the way this hand played out, it would be really difficult for Ite to be bluffing, but it really is the only way she can win the pot if she is. Mercer's trying to wonder if, if making this call is worth the profit. He bought in for this, to this game for 20000 He has 45000 in front of him right now, and... As we say every time that a big pot develops, it is really amazing that the chatter just stops. The jokes, the stories, everybody quiets down because they realize how much money is at stake. Again, this is an overbet river bluff with just ace high. Esther Taylor Brady called the flop and then raised the turn in position. And the problem that Jason Mercer is probably thinking of is that Ite might be the only player at this table that's capable of running this kind of bluff, and he's going to call with two nines, and he's going to be correct. What a decision is right. I think that came from Stu Newman. Well, let's listen and see if there's any post-hand table talk. Doesn't sound like it, though. Second, didn't you say donation pre flop? Yeah. You have a pair of nines. That's better than I've that's the biggest pair I would have had all day. Oh. Donation makes doesn't make me think of pocket nines. Like yeah, that. that sort of mystery. I know you're going level two. <laughs> yeah. I'm o I'm over your level two BS. <laughs> <laughs> you should Nines would, would be the biggest pair I've had today. I and thought you, said you had, I thought you had a two, and I thought E.T. had a boat. So I thought you had a tough decision with your two. Like, mm. like, mm. like oh, This has nice. been his day, his yeah. table, and earlier today he was <laughs> asked to move his stack out of the way of his card reader, and we might need a color up in seat four. Okay, Jason Mercer has over 70,000 in front of him, and all he can do is smile. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click those like and subscribe buttons for more from Poker Night in America. And oh yeah, say something nice about me while you're at it.